Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to install uh, Lubuntu on my Sony Vio P. So I'm installing the Lubuntu 18.04 using this USB drive. The specifications of my Sony Vio P are Atom Z520 processor, which is a super slow processor. This is the entry level model, which came with 40 GB hard disk, not SSD. So what I've done is I have swap, swapped this uh, small uh, hard disk with a 16 GB uh, SSD that I found on AliExpress. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money and that was the only one that was available on the AliExpress. So uh, I had previously installed Windows 7 that was working just fine. The GMA 500 drivers are not available for the Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10 which is why I was not running the latest operating system on this. The Windows 7 runs just fine on it. So the installation is now complete and I'm now going to do a cold boot of it to give you an idea how Lubuntu 18.04 LTS boots on it. So I press the power button. No other operating system is installed on it, just a Lubuntu on my 16 GB SSD. I've swapped out the hard disk for this uh, slower slow SSD but still faster than the HDD and uh, this is by the way the second boot of Lubuntu so it took it maybe I would 20 seconds and I think everything is working um, the only thing that I couldn't get it to work is uh, the ability to just tap on this uh, nub to register a click. So you have to press the left and right buttons. So other than that, it just works. The interface as expected is super snappy. You can see that. Runs pretty smooth, no lag whatsoever. I'm not sure if the GMA 500 drivers are actually available for this. And I've installed Linux on it after I think after almost a decade. So the last time I played around with the Linux, I think was in 2010 when I just bought it, when I was just playing around with it and you know when I had maybe Vista or Windows 7 on it by the way I still recommend using the Windows 7 due to you know ease of use but if you're a Linux geek uh, this seems to work just fine let me launch a few apps for you guys to give you an idea how it works this is calculator so it's been a while I used Linux Back in the college days, university days, I used to play around with Linux because that was part of my course. And, you know, I used to hack into the Wi-Fi routers to sneak out the passwords and stuff. So uh, Firefox comes pre-installed on it, and I'm sure you can install Chrome as well. I'm myself a Chrome guy, uh, but they give you Firefox out of the box, which is more than enough for getting stuff done and uh, let's open something gadgetmix.com this is a fairly uh, simple website I would say yeah, it runs on WordPress um, some PHP but it has uh, cache installed There you go, loads just fine. And the reason why I've opened it, uh, it has some YouTube videos here, which I'll see if it can run uh, just fine or not. It's a full HD video. So it will be interesting to see if uh, the GMA 500 is able to handle the uh, 1080p video or not the web page has frozen um, 
That's probably because of all the ads. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but that's expected. I mean, this is fairly an easy website. Okay, let's play this video. Let's see how it runs. Press that already two times. And let's change the quality. Again, I pressed left click already. Uh, okay, so I'm going to change this to 1080p. Let's see if this works. Okay, still buffering. Uh, the internet connection is fast enough, but it's not start playing. Okay, maybe I need to click on the play button. It's really struggling. The sound is cracking a lot. I'm not sure if hardware simulation is available here or not. But the video is definitely playing like a slideshow. Maybe I should downscale it to, I don't know, 480p or 720 plus. Let's, let's try 720p. You know, personally, I'm not surprised, but I don't use my YOP as a media consumption. It's more like a show off device at meetings. It has that wow factor. People like to talk about it. People always ask you, what is that thing? And it runs Windows, yeah. Okay, I've only selected 720p, but no change so far. Maybe it will run 480p. I don't know. Let's try something else. So why go for Lubuntu instead of Ubuntu? So Lubuntu is very light and unlike Ubuntu, which actually lags a lot on these old systems, um, Lubuntu is, Lubuntu UI is super fast. And by the way, how, do you want to know how slow it is? This is, uh, this is powered by the Z520 Atom processor and it has pass mark score of, I think, I would say it's around 200. And that makes it um, 600 times slower than the Atom Z375F, uh, which is used in most of the netbooks. So it's a pretty slow processor. Z520. So... I'm typing with one hand and this will give you an idea how the web browsing experience is other than the, you know, the YouTube, which kind of sucks on the Lubuntu. But if you're not doing YouTube stuff, maybe you are just browsing a web page at a time. How does it work? So, Still loading, gotta have patience. So it has pass mark score of less than 200, 156. Single core, two threads, what else do you expect? Super slow processor, kinda expected. But this is a niche product, I mean, it's very small. Um, let's close it. Let's see what else we have. Do we have Office? We have Office, Abby, what is this, and G Numerics. G Numeric is, I think, for your Excel sheets. And yeah, and that comes preloaded, and that loaded just fine. So you can eat spreadsheets for lunch. Abby Wood, I think it's a word processor. Let's you manage and you know work with the doc files, I, I think. Yeah, it looks like a 
word editor to me and it's pretty loaded yeah save as i think it can save docx files where you set the file extension or maybe i, I don't know man uh, the window is unable to fit in the window is i don't think is able to fit and how do you resize it okay Okay, so you can resize it, and here you can see, you can save it as DOC, and PDF is also supported, so it supports myriad of uh, file formats, it also supports DOCX, which is awesome, so yeah, pretty nice, so yeah, this little laptop is just fine for handling microsoft word and excel files <laughs> this window is not responding and process quirks and features of lubuntu i'm stuck here okay so yeah so yeah it runs the operating system just fine just don't try to do anything that puts it to limits the cpu usage right now is hovering around hovering between seven and ten percent now it is one percent and uh, out of two gb rem memory 192 m 192 mb is used so it's a very um resource friendly operating system i like it Maybe Lubuntu will stay on this YOP for a while until I think the Windows 10X comes uh, and I will just try it on this. I am pretty sure the uh, Z, uh, the GME 500 drivers won't work for on it because Intel abandoned development after Windows 7. So Windows 8 and Windows 10 run super laggy on this. That is why I stick to Windows 7. So let's shut it off. Let's, this will give you an idea how fast it shuts down. I'll click on shut down. And we'll keep an eye on the power button and it's off. So very good operating system. Just fail, just fell short on the YouTube front. Other than that, if you love Linux, don't install Lubuntu, Kubuntu, just install Lubuntu. And that's all about it. That's my YOP first generation. And it's running Lubuntu 18.04 LTS. Hope you like this video. Give this video a like and let me know if you want to, if you want me to run or test some other application on the YOP by Sony. Bye-bye.